I'm standing here in one of Shrewsbury's greatest hidden treasures, a secret garden created by Shrewsbury community member Robert Tarkarian, known by the members of the community as Chief Joseph. Today he gave us an exclusive tour of the garden, how it came about, and a little history about his personal life as well. Robert Tarkarian moved to Shrewsbury in 1982, but his love for gardening began with the vocational agricultural class in high school. Growing up in Worcester while having a family farm in Spencer, Tarkarian says he had the best of both worlds, experiencing the city and the country. His plan was to study landscaping in college. However, getting caught up in the drinking and drugs of the 60s, Tarkarian took a different path, which led to Paul Mitchell. This wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Paul Mitchell. That's for sure. So from craziness in the 60s, Uncle saying, you got to go, this is crazy, I'm working in a warehouse. Mm -hmm. Not that there's anything wrong with that. He was a barber. He was going to hairdressing school. This is 70s. Yeah, 70s. So I go to hairdressing school, and the thought was we would kind of somehow work together. So I ended up going to hairdressing school, working in a salon, and just as I started to make money, I became allergic to the products. Oh. Ended up working for a distributor that was selling Redken. Mm -hmm. Still drugs and alcohol, doing pretty well you know, successfully, mm -hmm. uh, no troubles, Right. first step. My mother's dying of cancer, I'm taking care of her, still crazy, and the guy I work for was, I mean, he, he showed me a lot, he made me what I am today, partly, some of the stuff, mm -hmm. but he was, not a fun, fun guy to work for. Yeah. So I quit. I took care of my mom, and then I ended up working for Shakur's in Westboro. And uh, still drugs and alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> and getting arrested. You know, now the trouble starts. Right. I remember. I go to New York. And one of my clients was Paul Thomas, mm -hmm. famous hairdresser in Worcester. He sees me there. He says, what are you doing here? I said, I'm just, to be truthful with you, Paul, I'm not happy at Shakur's anymore. I think I've got to make a change. I'm going to see what I want to do. He says, go look at Paul Mitchell. He's over there in the corner. All right. So I go over and there's Paul Mitchell doing hair and he's talking about a new way of doing hair. He says, why don't we go into business together? He says, you're like, we're like them. He would be the Paul Mitchell, who was the artist, mm -hmm. and John Paul DeJoria was the sales guy. You right. see him on TV. I don't know about that, Paul. He says, well, let's try it. First of all, I just want to clear things up. <laughs> I'm a year sober. And this is kind of scary. I got guys saying, don't do it. You know, don't make any rash choices here. Concerned about me wanting right. to go back and drink again. He says, oh, all right, okay. I have friends of mine. It's plain so, so I tell him what I had accomplished, which was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. A lot of yeah. things I did was cool, you know, even though I was crazy, I was still <laughs> working and, and performing. He says, I like, what, I like this. He says, you're like us. A week later, he says, you got a shot at it. Here we are. 18 salespeople. Largest distributor in the United States per capita in distribution. Wow. Amazing. You know, now I have the availability financially to do this. Right. 
Sharkarian has pulled the artwork featured in his garden from all over, including catalogs, craft shows, even ranging to artists coming on site to the garden to create a piece. Charkarian claims that all his creativity comes through him from various inspirational outlets, and he urges others to let their creative juices flow. Look at this. Isn't that something? Where did you find this tree? No, this is the tree. And when the guys were here, I said, leave it about that high. Are you sure? Yeah. Why? I said, because it's a, it's a piece of artwork. It was a tree with back on it. Finally, I said, I've got to do it. So I find out who he is. Mm -hmm. Jesse the Machine from Holliston. I call him. He's nationally known. He says, ah, oh, he says, I'm really busy. I'm doing this and that. I got to go to Colorado. I got something going in California. I'm going, he's blowing me off. <laughs> <laughs> I call him back again. He said, boy, you're persistent. I said, just come look. <laughs> so he meets me here. Mm -hmm. And when he gets in the ad, yeah. he's already wanting so, to do it. Yeah. <laughs> What, he was what, in. I'm in. So now I had, as you can see, owls around, right? right. That's like, yeah. you know, they're owls. I'm saying, owls. This is what I want. And here we are. So right now, this is my favorite piece. Yeah. People from all over come to visit the masterpiece that is Charcarian's Garden, especially since the site became a host to a geocache location. Visitors use the garden for a multitude of reasons including holding group meetings, taking selfies with statues, cancer patients meditating, athletes running through, and Tarkarian's favorite, kids adventuring throughout. Tarkarian states there are no rules to the work of art garden he's made out of his backyard. Rather, the main purpose of his garden is to bring joy to all that enter and to provide a quiet place to reflect in the midst of our busy lives.